I'm on my way to uh, my former employer to do a, an excellent interview. Um, we were caught in the work this weekend. I, I didn't tell y'all the whole story. It's a whole big slew of crap. So um, supposed to work this weekend, worked on Saturday. And on Friday before I left, remember the girl I was talking about the Disney tickets or whatever like that. Um, I just got a really odd feeling like, let me tell you the type of people that I work with or work with. Um, this woman, I guess she was formerly on drugs. She hadn't worked in like a year. And then um, on top of that, she, I guess they're homeless and they're sleeping in her boyfriend's car, which is like the Lexus or something like that. And they really, it appears that they are because they had like blankets and pillows and stuff in the back seat. But so she wanted to buy my tickets that I had. And at first I was like, yeah, because I need a bus pass. I need, you know, the rent and all this other stuff. And I was going to sell them to her just for the bus pass because I needed it. Then I realized someone says those tickets are worth over $100 a piece. And I'm like, wow. So that's something to consider even more because I really do need it because the phone and all this, that, and the other. And so, you know, when I spoke to her, it was like everything was really... You know how people say telemarketers are a scam? I felt like I was being scammed. <laughs> I mean, it was just like, just kind of just run all over and everything. And then the guy never, her boyfriend was supposed to bring the money. He never brought the money or whatever. And then, you know, on the day, they wanted me to wait after work and get in the car and go somewhere. And I just felt really uncomfortable. And I thought just personally and professionally that that wasn't um, what I wanted to do. Now, um, so, <laughs> continuing right along, um, uh, so then, I, you know, I felt the guy was like, it was really like, the guy was supposed to bring the money during lunch, he never bought it, then, you know, like I said, they wanted me to wait after work, and I was just like, I should have been gone a long time ago, and then she was like really spazzing out over it, and you know whatever and she was telling me previously how she manipulated a judge or whatever because she changed some tag license plate tags and whatever so very manipulative and then he came in and was just like the quote-unquote nice guy and then from there um i let the owner know that you know just a heads up i think there's gonna be an issue because it was a personal business transaction um that was supposed to be made outside of work and um, I, it didn't go the way that the person wanted to. I decided not to because personally and professionally, it would not be in my best interest. And lo and behold, um, you know, I received some lashback from that. So basically, um, and I'm going to start like documenting like all of my quote unquote employment things and posting them somewhere because I feel like people should know, you know, when they go into these types of environments and stuff like that. But and I let the owner know about it, at least I thought I was. But then what ended up happening was the girl, um, she came in, as soon as she came in, she was like, oh, I'm having problems with such and such. I was like, I don't have any problems with this female, I'm just working. And so that set the mood. And then I was like, I really didn't want any TOs. And, um, you know, but, and I was told upon hire that, the, that you know, if you can close it yourself, just close it. But she, what happened was that she heard me getting the card information, and because the TO was making commission off of that, she was trying to bully her way onto my call. But the person was offering the card information, but they didn't qualify. But, you know, it caused the issue. So I was like, fine, I'll just give her the TOs. So I was giving them, and then I guess she was in the selling them. Nobody else was giving TOs, because I guess they had all wise enough. Like, if you do too many, they get exhausted because they're not CD and doing what they're supposed to do. So she was trying to say this stuff, but they didn't. Um, she didn't pre-qualify. So, so basically, my proposal to the owner was basically, you know, as an independent contractor, I want to be responsible for my call quality, my call, my customers, everything like that, from beginning to end. And um, again, he just um, pretty much 
ignored everything. But what he did, I think after he talked to the girl is best friends with the first floor manager, whatever. He calls her his sister. They've been friends for six years. He has pictures in her phone, his phone of her six years ago, blah, blah, blah. So, <laughs> so, um, you know, there's time to ha that happened the same thing, you know, so they have that type of relationship and because they have that type of um, relationship, um, what ended up happening was, I think what happened was that he tried to make it like, oh, I'm sensitive. I'm not sensitive at all. She was sensitive. <laughs> she got upset or whatever because um, she wasn't closing her deals, you know? And, you know, I should be the one upset. I'm giving it to him. She's throwing him away. So, um, yeah. So, we. So, continuing right along. Um, so, I think what ends up happening is that he received those communications. That's why he gave me the money over the weekend. Because they know that that girl is really going to get pissed off if I see all my own stuff. Because what happens is that takes her out of the picture. And if most of the TOs are coming from me, she's just going to be sitting there doing nothing. And she doesn't come to work ever. And she's supposedly commission only. And probably out of niceness, she probably gives her more. Now, yes. Yeah, so... So, as a result of that, what ended up happening, because again, they all have the little circle, um, he calls me this morning, and I see him in his call, so I call back, and as soon as I call back, it's, who is this? And I'm just like, <laughs> you know, hi, such and such, this is Maria. You know, he was just like, I got my phone, turned my phone on, and I got all these messages from over the weekend. And I just laughed, and I was just like, yeah, you know, I... <laughs> was expressing to you some concerns that I had and he was like well are you coming to work or not so I don't know they told me to come at one or told us to come at one so I don't know if really everybody was coming at one or if that's what they just told me and I was just like boo boo the fool I don't know but um I was like yeah and then I was like well I wanted I started telling I wanted to speak to him because I had a couple hours before I had to come in and he abruptly hung up on me and that was the issue that I had professionalism not professional at all now these people don't lose anything because um, they don't lose anything because it's um you know it's independent contracting so you know there's no reason to be rude you know what I'm saying um, and I think he's behaving that way because he's scared to lose that girl. She is excellent at what she does, but she's very unprofessional, um, which demeans everything. You know, if she doesn't like somebody, she'll blow stuff on purpose. And if you're uh, capable of closing your own, then, you know, who wants your deal blown on purpose and then have to hear a whole bunch of nasties and some negativity just because they can. The last thing her boyfriend said to me was like, oh, you know, I'll let God deal with you. And so when I left work on Saturday, I didn't notice it, but I was walking and just like I'm walking on this driveway thing, this car came behind me and I heard Maria, Maria, my daughter's got to Disney and blah, blah, blah. But I think really the thing is that they used drugs or whatever. They were going to sell the thing for however much. And I think that what he did when he said they got to Disney, they took pictures of my, um, of my subs and used them. So they stole them pretty much. So, um, yeah, so then I decided since I was here and I was early and I really did not have a good feeling about going because if that's the way that he talks, but I want my check because I need my check because I got to pay rent. The way that he talked to me on the phone, the way that he talked to me on the phone lets me know that he does not appreciate me, respect me, <laughs> and has any, any um, feel that he needs to be professional with me in any type of way. So for me to go there knowing this, you know, with all good intentions, you know, already my heart, my mind, my spirit has dropped immensely. So with that being said, I had another job that I was supposed to charge today, but they quote unquote kind of knew about it, I guess, because, you know, word of mouth. So, but I called that because I had all intentions of going to this one and applying for other jobs during the week while I was here. And which I'm just coming back from doing now. I'm surprised, but it was a very casual office. It was like, yeah, just going in. So I did. And the testing, oh my gosh, it's like really literally 45 minutes. So, um, yeah. 
So continuing right along, um, yeah, so continuing right along, um, I was going to take all the tests, you know, and I think part of it was to feel that I was doing something positive and to get rid of the jitters, but the truth of the matter is that what I did was I avoided, you know, going there at one o'clock because that's when you're expected and that's when, <clears throat> um, you know, all of the you know, snickers and laughing and just, you know, whatever it is that they do would ensue. And so I just didn't want to walk into that trap like that. So um, that's where I am now. Um, but I am going. I do have my exit interview uh, paperwork basically about picking up my last check. I'm going to go in there with a big old smile and um, with a, I'm just going there with a ginormous smile. And just say, you know, I heard the tension in your voice this morning. And, you know, sometimes things don't start in good fit. <laughs> so, you know, I decided to move on, you know. And, you know, if possible, you know, if I'm able to go ahead, you know, and collect my check today, I would really appreciate that, you know, for the 36 hours work. Was it 36? Six times six, 36 hours work. So it's like... $306 plus commission of not a whole lot. So maybe he, I don't know. But if he gives me the 300, I'll be happy with that, you know. So so that's what it is. Um Yeah, so that's how I feel about the whole thing. But it was draining because you could feel the negativity and anytime I guess as I already know, when you um anytime that you're at somewhere and you have that much nastiness that means somewhere somebody somewhere is allowing it and I did put it in writing I did send it and he tried to send me some hotmail <laughs> email address but of course I found the um, the address for the for the company and I um, did a copy there just in case because it is official and that's it you know and so I guess what he was expecting was oh I'm gonna have her come in here I'm gonna be really really nasty and you know kind of <laughs> bask in the nastiness and you know whatever and so you know like I said because of that nastiness they may or may not and I've had this happen I shouldn't have alluded to the fact that I allowed it to happen because what that does is that gives them permission you know to do it again so uh, that's that's what it is um, I am pretty thick skinned so you know it's not a matter of that and that's why it's always good to plan ahead and I did and I'm going to continue to plan ahead um, hopefully like I said <laughs> the only little piece that is of consequence is the is the check um, so like I said I'm going to put as much sugar and cream on it as I can <laughs> and um, do what I need to do and I mean that's all I can do so